Hi everybody, I am Jim Wansack with Remax Masters Millennium and we're here at 6020 Greenwood Plaza Boulevard and it's our headquarters here and from time to time we get a chance to interview people that are in our industry that we really support, they support us and today we're here with Nicole, Nicole Delabray and she is with uh, Oak Street uh, <laughs> Interiors and so how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. Well thanks for coming yeah. in. So what we really want to do is kind of get to know you. So tell me a little bit about your background, where you grew up and that kind of thing. Yeah, so I grew up in Michigan. Oh. I lived there through college, part okay. of college. So I went to Eastern Michigan University mm -hmm. for psychology, thinking oh. that that would be my field. Minored in ceramics, so okay. you can see how I kind of got to design. Sure. Uh, my last year there, I was like, I don't, this just isn't quite right for me. And my aunt is a teacher at an art school okay. in Chicago. And she's like, well, have you thought about interior architecture, interior design? Yeah. It's like, no. And so it has best of both worlds, where right. you really get to help people yeah. out, but you get to be creative. So I packed my stuff up, moved to Chicago, got a degree in interior architecture, and wow. I worked at firms there for mm -hmm. seven years okay. doing, I was really lucky because I was able to work at architecture firms doing architecture, interior, so like deciding where the walls go, the lights, everything, right. and pick out the furniture and the finishes and all of that. Wow, so fantastic. It was really good, yeah. yeah. And then my husband got relocated, we ended up in... Colorado. Cool. We've been here eight years now. Okay. So love it. And I've done a little bit of everything here. I worked at some architecture firms downtown and then I went over and doing school design. So LPS schools, Littleton Public Schools. I was one of the lead designers on the um, elementary schools for the FF&E. Okay. And when COVID happened, I have two small little boys at home. I'm like, well, I'd really like to do my own thing. Neat. And that's when I thought, you know, staging mm -hmm. and um, doing interiors and staging okay. really came up when I my parents were selling their home and I helped them stage their house okay. and my mom's like you know you could do that for a living I was like right. that's not a job yeah. <laughs> she's like yes it is I was like oh oh yeah it is okay let's do it well so. <laughs> that that's really exciting because you know my wife has a lot of uh, interior just uh you know instincts is mm -hmm. what we call instincts and and uh, so you know it's really amazing because today the market is so brisk and it's kind of crazy so mm -hmm. tell me when do you think that people absolutely need to make the staging when when is that decision made so I think that decision should be made right away with the realtor when they walk through okay. and they talk with them um, and it's really I feel staging especially now is very important okay. because yes things are going higher but if we're looking at the clientele, and I'll love to hear your input on this, but I noticed, so a lot in the 500 plus, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Those are people who had like $200,000 homes seven years ago, and now they're five. Right. And then they're looking at their five, and they're like, wait, that looks like my $200,000 home. That's How am I going to spend that? That's a really good so point. So I feel like making sure they can go in there and see, okay, I am getting a bang for my buck, mm -hmm. be able to visualize themselves in there, okay. because that's really where, okay, maybe I'll get two bids over if I don't stage it, but if you do, now I'm going to get a bidding war and get 10, 15 over. And okay. that's really where your money comes in is yeah. you're creating this almost HGTV aspect, right? People go right. to that and they they're like, that. that's what I want my house to look like. Okay. And it allows them to visualize things in there too. Sure. Um, I also think it's important when you have spaces that you just don't know what to do with. Like I was just at this design consultation and they had a formal living room that was carpeted with like a half height wall and across was the kitchen. And the price point on this, they really didn't need a formal and like a dining room right across mm -hmm. from each other. Mm -hmm. So we brainstormed and we're like, why don't we make this a bar area where this is where you can get your cocktails and you can do all that. So when they walk in, they can see this could be a big entertaining space. Okay. So really just letting them imagine what they could do with the space when they walk in is so important. I, I think that's a great point. You know, one of the things that I see is that, you know, people that have an opportunity to buy furniture in, in Colorado is very, very limited. If you mm -hmm. don't go to Jake Jabs, you mm -hmm. know, where do you go? And, and Rare Finds is one of the places that we've, we've we've recently have visited and and so it's kind of eclectic and I mm -hmm. think people are really 
um, and thriving for something like that. So tell me how, you know, first of all, when you do an initial, do you do like a two-step process or go in and do the whole thing? I mean, how would I recommend the best way to my clients to mm -hmm. get the best advantage without taking advantage of you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what I love to do is team up with the realtors and come in and do what we do, I call a consultation. Okay. So that can be up to two hours where we walk through the home. Right. I go ahead and tell them everything that I think, right? Good. So we'll walk through the space and I don't say anything. And I, I love the look on people's faces because they're like, what is she thinking? What's going to go out of this uh -huh. room? So I let them tell me, if you're a buyer, what would you think walking through this space? Awesome. And what are the yeah. things that when you bought this home, just you were you thought were amazing. It really drew you to it. And then we'll do the walkthrough and then we'll do a walkthrough again. So you have okay. to have your walking shoes on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I'll talk about, okay, well, this room could be this and we could take something from you know the bedroom and move it mm -hmm. over and where can we relocate and where can we reuse stuff and what can we declutter because declutter is another really big thing that clients need to understand is mm -hmm. that when people come in and they see all that stuff they think there's not enough space okay. there's not enough storage and it's hard for them to look past that so you really need to give the effect that when you walk in it's clean mm -hmm. there's places to put away stuff and you can see your stuff in there so that to our consultation after that if you Sometimes the, they do it on their own and they right. can take all my information, right. but if they want, we can do a half day staging day or a full day staging or just kind of based on the scale of the okay. house. Okay. We would talk through that at the end of it and we okay. would talk through costs all and right. if you needed to rent anything. So we'll, I do do rentals. Uh -huh. So if they need a coffee table, throw rugs, artwork, everything, we have that on hand okay. to be able to spruce that up. Mm -hmm. so, so, what, so tell me what initial uh, two hour consultation would run. 200. 200. Okay, yep. awesome. That's great. That's yep. that's a fair value, and, mm -hmm. and really, uh, I can see uh, how you can just give them the opportunity. But you know, one of the things I've always tried to do is is give them uh, either a PowerPoint or a presentation. Yep. So we would really need something from you that says, "Okay, here's my list of costs," because that's what everybody asks for. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes they they got a great house, but they just need that extra eye. So mm -hmm. I really like that approach uh, and and telling us up front what that would be because some mm -hmm. of the agents will incorporate that into their whole package mm -hmm. and then some people will just be a la carte and charge as they go. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Good. So... So tell me about um, some of the biggest projects that you had. I mean, you know, how could you, I mean, do you do multi, you know, million dollar properties mm -hmm. too? Yeah, so I had a 1.2 million down over in Denver, and that was great. It was occupied. I concentrate on occupied staging. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm not set up for vacant, but if you have something that you need, like small pieces of furniture or anything like that, I can definitely help out with. But that was a super fun project. I yeah. love doing those because you have have the space to really reimagine mm -hmm. what it looks like. Okay. So they had one thing that was really fun we did in this house is in the basement, they had just this empty room that had tons of clutter in it. And they had three kids and the rest of the basement was full of toys. So yep. I was like, all right, guys, what if we make this room the playroom? Because everybody likes to close a door to a playroom. Yes. So we were able to reimagine that, get okay. all the clutter out, make mm -hmm. that a fun playroom, and then make adult space out in the rest of the area where right. you could go and Right. have fun. So right. I I love being able to just go in and just see their eyes on what they're like, wow, you made yeah. my house look like this. Right. Like yeah. <laughs> it's just so fun. Yeah. A years ago my brother after he saw the brochure that we made it look so nice, he goes, I think about it, I better just stay. It looks so nice. Right. So that's probably what yeah, you get all yeah. the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so so what are the maybe two or three rooms that you really if you got a budget you really want to concentrate on, what would you mm -hmm. give us advice for that? Definitely kitchen. Okay. Kitchen as we all know, sells houses. Mm -hmm. So I would make sure that that looks good, make sure it looks clean. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to stage it, if you have an island or anything like that, make it look like it's an entertaining space, but not cluttered. If you have any appliances on, make sure they're put away. Yeah. Um, so I would concentrate on that area, living area. And then I think the master bedroom okay. is another really important space because that's when they walk in, they want to see like this oasis, like they're at a hotel or something like that. And mm -hmm. Okay. I have noticed that when they walk in and they think that's serene, that that just makes the rest of the house feel really good. Yeah. So those would be my main. So 
so tell me about, hey, what, what was the oddest experience? Uh, I know I'm throwing you something, you probably, <laughs> but what about the oddest experience that, you know, maybe turned out, you know, positive at the end? Do you have any of those stories? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, I've been doing design for 15 years, so yeah. I got to... <laughs> yeah. Um, but pertaining to staging, um, so I think the oddest one would be the cat house. Okay. Where there was multiple cat towers everywhere, mm -hmm. and there was definitely multiple conversations <laughs> on <laughs> we need to relocate that to... Right, right, <laughs> there. right. Because some people, when you walk in, like... like Cats are their family. Like, yes, mm -hmm. that's that's like their children. But when somebody walks into their house, they don't want to see your children. <laughs> like, right. So that was that was kind of fun because there okay. was Good. probably three or four of those tall cat things, and then they oh my gosh, it was oh, yeah. all over. It was right, all over. right, right. Well, that that's that's cool. So if somebody was going to get a hold of you, what's the, how do, how do we do that? I mean, we're going to put some things on the screen, mm -hmm. and really would like to see a picture of your boys and that kind of thing yeah, on that. Yeah. But how would we get a hold of you? So the best way to get a hold of me, you can either go to my website, which is oakstreetinteriors.com. Okay. You can give me a call. Our phone number is 586-915-8103 or by email, which is oakstreetinteriors at gmail.com. Wow. You've really got the professional image and the brochure <laughs> to, to go along with, with, I know, the first class operation that you bring. So <laughs> we're really excited to make sure that we incorporate it in our company, your services. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. This is Hey, wonderful. this was a blast, you guys. You know, really, you can want to get to Nicole, know Nicole and really uh, take that uh, to, your, to another level because, you know, in today's environment, we're thinking that the market is going to be a little bit more balanced this uh, winter, and we want to make sure that we put our best foot forward. And with no, Nicole, I know we can do that. So thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.